I want you to count the number of objects in this image. It's difficult because there aren't any. This image was generated by AI in 2019 and it's safe to say a lot has changed since then. Just last year, AI generated videos were laughed at for how ridiculous it looked and how it made no sense whatsoever. But now models like Kling AI produce videos which look almost real, but not quite. Many of these videos mimic reality, but when it comes to the finer details, it starts getting a little bit weird. It almost looks like a dream, like the AI is dreaming. If you take an AI model and make it watch petabytes of video, that's thousands of terabytes, each with a description of the object's scenes and what goes on in the video, the AI makes connections between the video's description and the video itself. It also identifies how these features change frame by frame. So when the AI is given a new description, it uses all the descriptions of the previous training videos to produce an entirely new video matching this new description. So the AI doesn't actually create storylines or try to imagine anything new, it's simply predicting the scene series of images you want to see from a given description by looking at the patterns. It isn't checking whether the scene makes logical sense or abides by the laws of physics, it's just creating it. This is also what happens when you dream. Most dreams occur during REM sleep, which is when your prefrontal cortex shuts off. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for rational thought and logic, which is why most dreams aren't very logical. We also have this effect of one scene merging into the next. AI does this because it's learned that typically the current frame of a video is very similar to the next frame. So instead of having sharp cuts between scenes, AI usually likes to merge the scenes together, much like in a dream. This occurs in dreams because dreams are constructed by our memories, which are usually fragmented. Our brains don't actually remember entire scenes or minutes and hours. Our brains only remember important pieces of information and stitch these together. In recent years, AI video generation technology has become insanely realistic, to the point where it's difficult to determine whether a video is AI generated or actually real. I'm going to show you two videos one of which is AI generated. You tell me which, video one or video two. To me, video one is obviously AI generated, but it's actually video two. We are now approaching a crucial cutoff point with AI technology, a point beyond which content can be fabricated easily and at a low cost by anyone. Say for example, you wanted to accuse someone of a crime that they didn't commit. All you would have to do is pay five to fifty dollars to generate some deep fake or AI video of them committing the crime and how would they defend themselves? And if anyone can say that a video is fabricated, then how are we going to disprove or prove it? This may be the end of video evidence as we know it, because technology has advanced to the point where we can no longer believe our own eyes. Already, deepfakes are being discussed in courtrooms and it's only a matter of time before this becomes a major issue in the legal system. Well, if fabulous machines like this are being developed everywhere, what's going to happen to us all tomorrow? Who's going to be in charge, machines or men? Man, I hope. You know, you can always pull the plug. <laughs> Click and watch this video if you want to see more. And piss off.